It is 649. This is your morning in eight minutes right now. Be on the lookout for a missing Cock County inmate. Police are looking for this man, Eric Ballard. He escaped with another inmate last week. They asked to go to the bathroom while on litter crew and ran off. The other inmate is now in custody, but Ballard is still missing. If you know anything, call the Cock County Sheriff's Office and four people are dead. Three others are hurt after an hours long shooting spree in Memphis. A 19 year old man is behind bars this morning. Police say Ezekiel Kelly posted live footage of himself pointing guns and shooting people on Facebook and Instagram last night. Parts of the city went on lockdown. Police say they caught Kelly after a high speed chase crossing state lines. His criminal history includes attempted first degree murder, aggravated assault and reckless endangerment. He served only 11 months of a three year sentence for those charges and was released in March. Meanwhile, the man accused of kidnapping and murdering Memphis woman Eliza Fletcher will be back in court this morning. Cleotha Abstin, now going by Cleotha Henderson, will be arraigned on a first degree murder charge. A judge is denying bond. He's accused of kidnapping and killing Fletcher while she was jogging last week in Memphis. And the man accused of attacking and attempting to rape a woman in Market Square will be in court tomorrow for a bond hearing. Police say Joppa Goins attacked the woman while she was running in Market Square. The convicted sex offender is behind bars right now, charged with aggravated kidnapping and attempted rape. Goins has a criminal history that includes 30 charges dating back to 2006. It includes indecent exposure, burglary, and rape. Two of his rape charges were dropped. Attorney Marcos Garza says if convicted on all three of his new charges, he could be looking at anywhere between 12 and 20 years in prison. Continuing coverage this morning, the man who lost a ladder on I-75 leading to the death of a Loudoun County sergeant is pleading guilty. Police say Sonny Beeson didn't secure the ladder on his truck and left it on the interstate. When Sergeant Chris Jenkins stopped to pick it up, a tractor trailer hit and killed him. Beeson is charged with three counts of reckless endangerment and driving on a suspended license. Two hikers are safe this morning after getting lost in the Cherokee National Forest. Brothers Ryan and Ronald McLean were missing for three days after they lost track of a trail on Sunday. They eventually found a river and followed it to a group of workers who led them out of the forest where they were finally reunited with their family on Wednesday morning. You're in a situation like that where you're out in the middle of nowhere. You literally have to keep going. I was a little shaken, but I was excited more than I was shaking. Yeah, hell, even, see, even seeing the cops, the rescue crews, everything, you know, we was happy. The Monroe County Sheriff's Office, along with TEMA and the American Red Cross, were among 15 agencies who helped in the search. Knoxville-based Regal Cinema's parent company is officially filing for bankruptcy. Cineworld lost nearly $3 billion in 2020 and another $566 million last year. Despite the filing, Cineworld promises you won't see any changes at the movie theater moving forward. The company says it has access to nearly $2 billion to finance operations. And more jobs are coming to East Tennessee. Kroger is looking to fill positions. The grocery store is hosting a job fair today. It's from 3 to 7 at their Cedar Bluff location. There are leadership positions in the store and pharmacy available. If you're interested, you can let them know ahead of time. They say walk-ins are also welcome. And the Medal of Honor celebration continues this morning. Recipients and their guests will attend a private memorial service to pay tribute to those who have passed away in the last year. The ceremony will be at the Sacred Heart Cathedral. There will be a flag raising at 820 this morning, followed by a U.S. Army Golden Knights jump at 830. Then at 1012, there will be a 21 gun salute. There also will be a flyover. We're going to bring you most of these events as we're able to on WBXX. And the world famous Budweiser Clydesdales, they're back in town for the Smoky Mountain Air Show this weekend. If you can't make it out there, you can see them today. They'll be in Powell today at the East Emory Road Kroger. It'll be held from 3 until 630. You're asked to RSVP for the event. We have that link in the WVLT News app. And tonight's your chance to catch the Knoxville Symphony Orchestra in downtown Knoxville. They'll be playing at Market Square. You'll hear selections of Mozart and Chopin. The concert kicks off tonight at 730. And tonight, another exciting game of Rivalry Thursday football. Knoxville Central in Gibbs will play at Carson Newman. Gibbs home field still under construction. <laughs> Mark Packer and Austin Price on the call. Kickoff is at 7 o'clock. You can watch it all on my VLT. Isn't it Chopin? Chopin. Chopin? Chopin? <laughs> Classical musical. There you go. Yeah, I'm more Classical. of a Lady Gaga person. All right, moving on. What? Official station of the Vols is what we are here at WVLT News. We're going to hear from head coach Josh Heupel one more time this morning before the team hits the road for Pittsburgh tomorrow. 
The team will have a walkthrough this morning as they iron out the details for Saturday's top 25 matchup. The Vols looking for a little revenge in this year's edition of the Johnny Majors Classic. Kickoff against Pitt is at 3.30 from Pittsburgh. 6.54, let's get a look at your first alert traffic with Whitney. We're following a multi-vehicle crash on Western Avenue. This is right at the intersection of Dale Avenue. We have two vehicles involved, several crews on the scene. This is impacting traffic in both directions on Western Avenue as you're coming to and from over I-40 right now. So this is going to take a while for crews to clean up. Be extremely careful if you're just now getting out the door. Just a reminder, again, this is on Western Avenue at Dale Avenue. This is not affecting any interstate traffic. And it's the only incident that you need to worry about getting out the door on this Thursday morning. Your first alert forecast with Chief Meteorologist Heather Haley. 655 now all smiles on our pick of the week. No, really on our muggy cast. We have dried out that air a bit. That's why this morning is cooler and today can stay mostly dry. Only a stray shower storm in the mountains. OK, you might feel a little bit of a difference as we go through the day tomorrow. Humidity will gradually climb tomorrow. Clouds will increase and so will the rain chances. So really tomorrow it'll go up to spotty. So nothing to cancel plans over, but know that it will be mostly cloudy with a little more humidity and that's what can create more isolated rain and storm, especially midday through the afternoon and evening tomorrow ahead of more rain that'll be lifting into our area to start the weekend. So for now, let's enjoy this nice little wide open views. Great morning, comfortable morning, 55 Whitley City, 64 in Knoxville to 65 in Dandridge and 61 at Rockwood. Off to a nice comfortable start. Zoomed in here even. Look at that 57 Fairfield Glade and Oneida, 61 in Clinton to 57 in La Follette. And we do have a little bit more fog up towards La Follette. Also in Williamsburg area, Middlesbrough to Tazewell, as well as Pineville to Harlan County. And then a little hazy throughout the Central Valley into the mountains. Otherwise, it's just a few clouds. Gorgeous morning. Your Thursday planner. Let's all go outside now. Later, doesn't matter. Take a few minutes, take your lunch outdoors. 77 at noon, high today 84. It'll be mid 70s still at 8 p.m. But of course, we got to track that rain for your weekend. I got you covered on that coming up on the CW. And my favorite thing about that, I don't see a 90 degree sign up there. That's so that's oh, hey, everybody takes away something from it. Exactly. <laughs> it is 656. We're headed over to WBXX for two more hours of news, then another hour on WVLT News starting at 9.